Hello, everybody, and welcome into another Tech Tuesday webinar. Uh, today, we'll be taking a look at Citric Workspace, and I'm joined today by Ryan Hinkleman. Uh, Ryan, good to have you here today. He's going to walk us through here and uh, talk to us a little bit about Citrix Workspace and what it's capable of. Uh, just a little bit of housekeeping before I hand it over to Ryan to walk us through today's presentation. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please go ahead and enter those into the chat and we'll get to those at the end. Um, we'll also be sending out a recording of today's webinar after the after the completion later this afternoon. So um, you'll be able to re review everything we go here. And uh, those are the two main things. So Ryan, gonna go ahead and just toss it over to you and go ahead and walk us through the deck you prepared today. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Pleasure to be here and, and talk about Citrix workspace with intelligence. Um, it's an interesting topic and, and really something that is a, a change in direction from what people know and understand Citrix to be. So it'll be entertaining and fun to kind of walk through exactly what that is. So Citrix Workspace is, is really um, made from the Workspace Premium Plus, which is not only the, the desktop um, and apps that you know today, but also um, analytics and something that's really key and critical around workflow. Um, it is all of that rolled into uh, products you may know and understand in a previous life now the endpoint management, the content collaboration, some of the access control, and of course the analytics around that. And that is all delivered to you via the Workspace app. And now the goal is to take all of those and combine them into a, a, a unique, single, unified experience with a couple additions that we'll get to here in a minute and, and deliver something new and, and, and refreshing and um, really that intelligent behavior around um, a workspace and what that means and and how we can deliver the most content in the most relevant amount of uh, and the most relevant way to the user um, to, to solve some problems that people are facing today we'll talk a little bit about that so a lot of companies are, are doing this transformation right now they they've got all of the classic on-site data they got office workers they've got you know, company issued desktop laptops. And if we've seen anything in the last six months, it's been change and change it. You know, this was already occurring and now we've seen it at an even higher pace. Work anywhere, although unfortunately for many, it's working from home um, or fortunately, depending on your circumstance. Um, you've got branches, you've got connected things. So, you know, you don't have, just have to be able to work from that company issued laptop. You have your own devices that you may have around your house, your iPad, your personal machine, and we're switching the content to be more based on mobile applications, SaaS platforms, and doing so from the cloud at, at a level unprecedented and never seen and frankly accelerated in an extreme way over the last few months. So now that we've got this and we're in this transformation, how do we really, what's, what's really happened and how do we make that better, right? So this slide I know really hits home for me because I look at how many screens I have, which is a great productivity boon, but how many things around those and how many tasks I have to accomplish in a given day and how much I switch between all of those things, right? Uh, a window for this, a web page for that, a tab for this, and I lose track of what I'm doing. And if I get interrupted, I know that that, you know, just for me to get back on track with something, takes a lot of my time out versus just being focused in how I do. Um, so you're looking at people using three different devices today, which you look at that and you go, that's not a stretch really. I use my phone and it has a lot of the same apps as my laptop. And maybe I have an iPad or a home computer. Three plus is an, is an easy goal, right? Context switching every two minutes. Um, I can attest to that personally. I, I, I think a lot of you can. Um, every time your phone buzzes in your pocket uh, um, or a message pops up in the bottom right hand corner and letting you know you have an email, you've just context switched. Um, you flipped up uh, an Excel sheet, you've just context switched. And we need to, and it's all to, to do your work. We've got to find a way to minimize that wherever we can. Um, we're searching for that data, we're moving around, we're remembering all the passwords, and 
at the bottom line is even though we have that fancy ERP system or uh, this fully functional uh, time and expense, most of the time we're not using that application to its fullest and we really need it for its simplest functions. And so we need to find a way to get relevant data in one consumable spot wherever possible and keep the user focused on that so they can be the most effective. How do we do that? Well, we have, right now we have the workspace, right? And we have this technology stack. So you can see on the right hand side um, what is throughout right throughout the stack we have a consistent user experience we want to show that to you in a minute we have visibility to what your users are doing through the analytics and through that portal so we can understand what that is and of course we have to have that secure access to deliver that content uh, and that workflow effectively and in that workspace app and through its delivery we have really this intelligence which we'll talk about we have the apps and desktops that you know today is Citrix virtual apps and desktops, the thing that Citrix is really truly built upon at the beginning. You have the capability to bring in SaaS or web providers through a portal as well. So your SAP, your Concur, whatever the case may be, uh, we can bring that in through that same portal. We can do content collaboration. Uh, those files, whether they be you know, in a OneDrive, in share file, wherever they are, let, let's bring that together in, into a unified file system in a unified place that I don't have to go searching in a hundred dozen different places for, let's, let's truly bring it together. And let's manage that endpoint, meaning we have the ability to, to now put this content and this workflow really in one spot. We have ability to control and ensure that that device, whether it's BYOD or company issued, is meeting that standard security policy and, and posture going forward. So unified experience. This is really a, a masterful piece of what this is, right? I have now have a portal where I can bring in my apps, my desktops, my files, my relevant workflow. We'll get to that. And I have the same experience whether I'm on a website, on the mobile platform, and that could be Android, iOS, whatever the case may be, um, I know what I'm gonna see, I know how I'm gonna consume it, and I know that workflow there for me is going to always be the way I expect it to be. And it is combining all of these numerous different uh, consumable applications that I, I already had access to in a simple and predictable format. Um, I'm no more searching around on my desktop for them. They're here. I have Excel on this example. I have Salesforce right there. I have the desktops I'm assigned, and I know where to go as my first stop. It's workspace to be able to get and consume applications, data, to collaborate, to perform my workflow. So we really have all of this back by a simple management experience as well, which is which is um, Citrix Cloud. So all of this being provisioned from Citrix Cloud, um, the really nice thing is I can provision those services, have them centrally managed, monitored, upgraded, et cetera, and I have all of that control without having necessarily the technical debt associated with building all of this on-prem, because as we talked about earlier, more and more of this is consumed as a SaaS or you may be in the, the midst of converting and in a hybrid burst state between your on-prem desktop experience and app projection experience and some in the cloud. Citrix Cloud is really the platform that ties all of that together. So I get a lot when I choose to go to Workspace. I get that unified access we talked about, right? Re regardless of the platform, whether that be a desktop or application I published, SaaS, um, a file, I know where to go, I know how to do it, and I know that my experience, whether that be on a tablet, a mobile device of another type, a Chromebook, uh, a PC, a Mac, is going to be the same. Um, it's going to have a customized experience for that employee and potentially for that employee in their workflow, and that could be specific to HR with their applications, specific to accounting with theirs, and really workflows and experiences can be built from the applications and the content to really help better define and better suit any given work role within a company. 
and it allows for that better collaboration right because now i have all of that stuff in one spot i'm not searching everywhere for it i really have the means to um truly collaborate on that using some of the underlying tool sets in a more effective manner and i'm still given it flexibility right i've got all of these i can now support a byod strategy i can support a company owned strategy and i can do all of that with the security that uh, my security team will be happy with they will understand um, and, and often cases provide them uh, metrics and analytics that they possibly they couldn't possibly get on their own trying to manage each and every one of these tools individually and i'm pulling that in and be able to expose that through those analytics and expose risk and take actions based on what that case may be for that particular user or event um, so that they have a hey they have actually an advantage as well by having this unified so citrix workspace really we're talking about a workflow you can see it in here we're going to streamline that workflow and we're going to automate it one of the big things we'll talk about is, is micro apps as well and and how that fits in here but it really gives me the experience to talk to that that point that really only about 15 percent of that application may be used so if i have a means to expose that piece of that application very quickly without ever having to leave that unified experience um, and i can do a task oriented item very quickly by having that exposed um, i'm going to be very successful very quickly but you can think about the difference of i know that we have an hr software and and if i have to approve time off right now i actually have to go to that website i have to log in I have to find it and as, and as easily and as well defined as that website is and it's there on the front page for me so I have to go drill down one more time click it see all the details and and approve or disapprove that vacation request or time off or whatever the case may be um, I've spent three four minutes by the time I get in there even with all the advantages of having a password remembered for me and all this other stuff and it would be nice just to be able to know that in my work stream, if you will, there was a request, all the relevant details are right there. And what Workspace allows is for exactly that, right? I can see that that comes up in essentially what is my feed and I can see the data and without ever leaving that and without ever doing that context switch, I now have the ability to see the relevant details and only the relevant details without diving into all the other things that I might find in my HR software or platform, such as, you know, my pay structure or W-2s or the org structure or all the things I don't really care about at the moment because I'm really truly just trying to approve somebody's time off request. I'll see that and only that without ever having to leave my workflow, if you will, it becomes part of it, not a uh, distraction to it. and I can quickly take that action and move along. So, and I really get all of this with a single sign-on as well. So, I, once I take my username and password, my domain, put it in, I now get single sign-on to all those applications in the background through um, single sign-on functionality. So, as I launch a application because I need that application to manipulate some data, or as I launch into a SaaS application, I will quickly take that authentication that I've done once, and I will make sure that I don't have to do it again as I launch those additional resources. So that again, I'm keeping, we, the aim is to keep that user engaged and not make them see any of the administration that's going on behind that and still allowing all the security parameters to occur. So really what, the, what we're trying to do here is, is guide and automate all of that work going on. You can see here, here's a, you know, a company workspace and, and you can see actions, right? So there is, you know, approve an expense report uh, or submit one or do something like that. The, again, these, these probably have extremely detailed and um, very, very complicated SaaS web apps behind them or dedicated applications, but because I was able to pull out that action or that task and expose it by an integration of a micro app. And a micro app really is that integration into those applications through API calls. So I can integrate against, for example, SAP or Concur or my homegrown app through the Citrix service 
and it will allow me to build out tasks to where I can expose those to users and use API calls into the application to uh, interact with that part or that functionality very quickly. It can be dynamically developed and there's also uh, pre-built packages for many of the popular applications out there, of which I've mentioned some, SAP, Concur, et cetera. So now I've got some actions I can that I've got built right into the workflow for the person. I don't have to make them context switch away from workspace. They can take the most common, most high level actions right here. Now, if they don't need that common action and maybe they need something more detailed, they of course are still free to launch that application from right from here and, and get into it as need be and do something that may be more power user oriented. But again, this is the rule of 80-20. You want to be in, you want to be dynamic, and you want to expose the most often used features or functions through that integration for that particular audience. So everybody probably wants to, in this case, submit an expense report or request PTO or maybe a Salesforce create a new opportunity very quickly, um, whatever the case may be. So you can see that we've exposed a lot of that here through those actions and through those integrations with micro apps so that the application can expose some of its functionality without necessarily having to be launched fully. Again, we still have our apps and desktops. This is the Citrix functionality that we all know, love and respect so much. Um, because it allows us to project complex applications pretty much anywhere while staying close and relevant to the data at hand. This gives you that experience that Citrix has, has made as their hallmark, and that is uh, part of the functionality as well. Files. So you can see the integrations here. This is really pointing to we have the applications, we have some tasks, but we may also just need content in some cases. And so we want to unify that content where we can and make that available to you as a, as a tree with any of the integrations that have been done. We also want to point to recent files because you may want to work on those again. Again, thinking about what's there from uh, a workflow perspective to keep the user engaged with this, minimize the switching and maximize their efficiency as they work. And of course, search functionality. I mean, we want to be able to, to go across and do that search functionality and figure out uh, quickly where a file might be, what an action might be, et cetera, um, knowing what's going on very quickly. And, and yes, even a virtual assistant. So maybe I have a couple other actions that are beyond the recommended actions and I want to figure out how to do that. Well, we can um, have the, the, the virtual assistant kind of help with some of that moving forward. Um, and so we can continue to integrate um, through micro apps and through content collaborations where we can continue to pull in um, those various features and functionalities from those different apps and front load them here to integrate and, and to keep it as a, as a one-stop shop. And you get the freedom of choice, right? So you're gonna see a lot of logos here um, because we have um, a tremendous amount of, of freedom and choice in what content is delivered, right? Because Citrix is now for the first time taking what we understand to be a workflow, and that workflow previously may have been an application delivery or a workflow within a desktop and have built a lot of experience around maybe delivering a very effective workflow for a user within a desktop, and we've said, it's more than that now. As we're transforming, we want to be able to deliver that workflow really anywhere. The the, the principle of Citrix is any, anywhere, any place, any time. And so now we're, we're taking that same thing, but we're adapting it to a workflow. And we're saying, bring me your Windows device, bring me your Mac device, bring me an Android iOS, or just we'll give you an HTML5 browser. And you can collaborate with that content from the Workspace app. We can manage that endpoint again on those same basic platforms and we don't necessarily care what it is, we have the ability to extend the full suite of security down to those devices and make intelligent choices based on that security posture that we need. And we can collaborate with content from ShareFile, SharePoint, OneDrive, Box, you name it, um, and bring that content to you based on some previous IT choices and be able to pull all of that together into one contiguous workflow. So. Benefits, 
really we get to take that explo uh, employee experience that used to be all over and we get to really funnel it and focus it and really put the magnifying glass on it with the sun and really distill it down into something that's hyper focused and it's a unique position for a lot of people that are in my position that that have typically been um, focused on the mechanics of application delivery. Now, I've, I've also focused on a lot of the mechanics of delivering an effective workflow over time. And that's something that I think we at Cortec have really put a lot of effort into is delivering an effective workflow first in the healthcare organizations and then moving on to all the different verticals as, as the market for uh, virtualized desktops has grown. We've really stayed focused on understanding user experience and workflow. And this is now really challenging our notion of what that is and what it can be uh, as we grow and really determine what a user is doing through that workflow analysis and building workflows that aren't just a desktop or application based, but truly application and task based for the first time and trying to eliminate uh, a lot of those interactions that may be unnecessary in building out a true workflow. Of course, that allows us to get the agility. We can do a lot more self-service. We can do a lot more uh, automation around those workflows, and it helps really tie in and modernize IT as you're on that journey we talked about earlier, bringing all of those disparate resources to, to bear in one unified platform really gives us the chance to to modernize but still remain focused, friendly, and dedicated to the users that we're trying to serve. All right. Well, that is going to bring us here towards the end of the uh, presentation. And, and really, I think, Ryan, um, if, I, if I can distill it down almost to a single point, uh, you know, Citrix Workspace not only helps you with with the year we've had in 2020 it not only helps you survive it but it helps you thrive in that environment which is something that's important because i think a lot of companies have, have had to scramble um to really try and go ahead and, and figure out what they're going to do um and, and certainly i think as you're looking forward it's it's not just about covering your bases anymore it's how can you actually succeed and and have things optimized for this this new world we find ourselves in because you know even after everything's said and done here, the sort of the genie is out of the bottle. So uh, it's, it's definitely accelerated, I think, uh, most people's digital transformation. It, it truly has. And, and the digital transformation that, that we've seen, this is a, a wonderful tool for, for helping to realize that goal and to suit the modern workplace as the definition of what that is continues to change uh, here over the next year. Yeah, most certainly. Um, so just, I know, I, and I believe there's one question here, and I believe you sort of touched on it, but uh, the question is just centered around uh, when it comes to the workspace itself, having it optimized for specific roles. So having that done, like if someone's in, I believe when you were talking about it, you mentioned that having one for HR, potentially having one for someone in accounting. Um, could you just talk a little bit about what sort of capabilities are, are, sure. are there? Sure. So, so through the use of security groups, so Active Directory security groups, which we all know and love, you could potentially expose different uh, micro app integrations or different tasks within that integration, as well as a different set of files or applications based on that user or more likely what uh, department they may be associated with. Uh, for example, there may be some deep integrations with Salesforce, um, and you're probably going to expose a lot more of those to your own Salesforce, but there still may be, depending on the modules you have, needs to expose other aspects of that software at a lesser level to um, maybe accounting or something like that to, to interact with. But again, for, and, but whereas they may be more interested in like an SAP uh, integration or an accounting integration that they're gonna see more tasks around into their feed and flow. Um, so really, aligning not only the integrations that you've done or those that are packaged and the, the associated tasks with them along with that content along with those apps and desktops really helps you kind of focus uh, the availability of those resources that you've created 
for those users so that it is absolutely effective for them um, and that their engagement remains you know, high and we can minimize any distractions to that to that workflow that they have. Fantastic. All right. Well, that covers all the questions we have here. So uh, it looks like we are a little bit ahead of schedule. It is uh, currently 225, but we will go ahead uh, and wrap up. And as always, we will be sending out a recording of today's webinar. So if you didn't have a chance to join us today or you want to come back and uh, take a look at the, uh, the, the video, after we've done the live event, that'll be made available to you. Um, and if you have any uh, questions or any interest, you can reach out at inquiries at cortech.com, um, or you could even potentially reach out to Ryan Hinkleman directly. Uh, you can always connect on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, yeah, we'd be happy to uh, take care of any requests and any questions you have. So uh, thank you for tuning in today, and uh, we'll catch you next Tuesday. Uh, when we take a look at uh, Lakeside and leveraging that to manage uh, Office 365. So uh, thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.